Was getting Susan Smith to tell the truth after so many days of denial, how difficult was that? It, it was difficult, particularly, she had been interviewed on several occasions before, and was actually given a polygraph before. So when I went up there and started the interview, I knew in my own mind that I couldn't be hard on her because the last time somebody got difficult with her and hollered at her, she walked out of the interview. <laughs> I knew that's what I was facing. And I also knew, John, that if we didn't get something out of Susan Smith, the case may not have been solved because only she and the man upstairs knew what she did. Nobody else saw it, nobody else proved it. So I knew it was difficult, so I took it very slowly. Five days of interviews to get to the end of it. Well, actually I have to give credit to a maintenance man in the area who knew that the light, light traffic light, where she says the kidnap occurred, um, doesn't turn red if there's no cars at the intersection. It's always green. And she was saying that it was, she was stopped there and that's where she was kidnapped. And so when I confronted her with that, I finally uh, got the truth out of her. And what I did, <laughs> I gave her another avenue to go in. I gave her the avenue of, could this have happened somewhere else because the light would have turned green and you wouldn't have been stopped. And finally, after a while, she went down that road and said, yes, it happened over here 10 miles away at a little town. And so then I knew that probably had her foot in the door and that she probably was going to tell us later on what happened. That turned the point. In fact, I told her to go home. And I said, go home and write a statement as to everything that happened when you went to the new place. She came in the next day with a statement in detail about it. And of course, the sheriff and I then decided, well, we'll tell her we had a surveillance of the place. And when we did that, it kind of went down. It went downhill for her and she finally confessed. And when she confessed, what kind of emotion did she show? She dropped to the floor on her knees and crying hysterically. Um, and it appeared to be a true, true lion. Maybe she's lying now because she got caught. And she's, you know, it's a combination. Or she's lying about reliving what happened. Could be, either way. And was that when she told you where the boys were? Yeah. The, the children were? Yeah. Yeah. And how did she say that there in... She said, well, you won't find the boys. I think something to the effect they're, uh, they're with the car and the water. And then she later on told us in detail about what her in mind was. When the car was rolling, she realized something was really wrong. She said she tried to go in. She wanted to go in and stop the car, but didn't know how to put the brakes on and everything with the car rolling. Whether or not you want to believe that or not, that's questionable.